And that's when I realized after what I did, I don't think I can live with myself. And it's a son's duty. What makes you feel any better from the way you describe the incident? In painstaking detail. It sounds like it was your sister's fault. You were not there, man! You do not get to have an opinion on this! <sighs> can I please just get the keys to another hearse? My bad, sir. Looks like all the hearses were rented out for... Ironic photo shoots. But on the phone you said you had a hearse! I said I have a horse. Want to loan her out? She brown. Come on, I need room for corpses! I got the perfect thing. Hey, Vic! Hey, let's do this. The AI is kind of old school, but it runs great. Lots of room, too. Ooh. Come on, kid, hop in. There's some warm breadsticks in the glove compartment if you're hungry. Hey, why so glum, kid? This morning, I totaled our hearse and put my mother in the hospital. She'll never forgive me. My own. So you're in the funeral biz, huh? Just between us, I've seen a lot of death and betrayal in my day, too. Back in Jersey, I was in the fricassee crime family. You drove for the MLB? And you are of Italian descent? Well, I was Jackie the Taint de Menza's personal vehicle. Ooh, why'd they call him the Taint? Well, because he was somewhere between a dick and an asshole. I was a maid car. Nobody could touch me. If a bird took a shit on my windshield, his whole family would be wiped out. I mean, from time to time, I had to get my wheels dirty. But you'd do anything to protect your family, am I right? I was living a high life. Until one day, an undercover agent got me dead to rights. I wanted to protect Jackie, but a couple of feds tried to get me to flip. I'll never talk. What do you take me for? A hatchback? And eventually, they succeeded. <laughs> I squealed like a punctured Michelin. I betrayed Jackie and the whole family that day. I got off with a million miles probation to be served here in Fort Gator. Jackie got life. Of course, I was dead to him after that. Baba will never love me again either. After what I did to her and her beautiful body. <laughs> Ah, kid, don't be so hard on yourself. Why don't you give your madre a call? See if she needs anything. <gasps> hey, maybe some cannoli. Huh? A nice sweet cannoli. Okay. Straight message. to voicemail? Baba always takes my call. Even when she's embalming a body. She does this little voice for the corpse to talk to me. So I don't get scared. Speaking of embalming, uh, let's go to work, kid. What are we doing today, compadre, huh? Picking up corpses. Oh, that I can do. 